Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I woke up and did some work this morning. Um, I thought I would show you guys. I completely changed, like, my... Well, I didn't completely change, but I, I started doing a new makeup routine for the days that I go to work because I work out of my house Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at the CNC office. Today's Thursday, but I still have to go into the office today. I have to go to the bank and to the office. This morning, I woke up, and then I did some editing. Anyways, I'm making... One of my favorite breakfasts, which is a smoked salmon. Normally I use bagels, but I don't have bagels, so I'm using an English muffin. I'm also snacking on some turkey bacon. I've been so good at eating the food in my fridge. The smoked salmon I get is from Costco. They have 10 individual packs of smoked salmon for $29. One pack of smoked salmon at my local grocery store is $7, and it's this size. So it's a great deal. I get my smoked salmon always at costco the camera that i used to like normally film my videos just went missing it's i went through my entire house i have absolutely no idea where it is so i have my english muffin it makes no sense because i don't take it out of my house so i don't know where this camera could be and i really need it to film some videos i might have to go back to my old canon camera and i personally don't like when the salmon is too thick I love a, like the fresh cucumber taste and then I put a little bit of fresh onion the fresh onion makes such a difference and then I need capers I love capers I eat them just like as a snack then you just add some salt and pepper and there you go that is my favorite breakfast and if you like smoked salmon definitely go and get it at Costco so I'm going to go with this, finish editing the video, and then I have to work on selling some more of my clothes. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm posting on Depop. All right, so as I mentioned in my recent home update video, the next thing I'm doing is my driveway. So Chris, the guy who's doing my driveway, dropped off two samples for the different stones. And here they are. So this one looks exactly like my house. And that one, they look really identical. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing outside? So it's a little bit later. Editing took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I'm still gonna go ahead and get ready for the day because it always makes me feel better. But I've been doing a really natural makeup look recently. Maybe I'll do a reel or something on my updated skincare routine because my skin has been on point recently. You guys know I went through a really hard patch with my skin, but it's been on point. But I've been doing really natural makeup. I feel like when you're running around, running around I feel like when you're running around I can't speak when you're running around working natural makeup like just looks better throughout the day and I'm super excited that this portion is in collaboration with Nordstrom can you believe it can you I can't I can't believe it dream come true Nordstrom is great because you can shop for your favorite beauty products online and in store they offer such a huge range of amazing beauty products to guarantee you'll find something that makes you feel amazing they always offer new and on trend skincare hair tools makeup to make sure you're staying on trend they always have exclusive offers and have the newest hottest things which brings me to this okay i have been seeing this all over tiktok i have been dying to try it i've been seeing this brand all over instagram so i picked up the um, foundation stick this is the vital skin foundation stick um, i picked up the contour stick which is a dream and this is the star of the show it's their squeaky clean lip balm in the color nana it's the perfect nudie pink so what's great about nordstrom is that they have luxury brands but they also have more affordable brands like ordinary so i'll leave my products and other favorites um that's available on so i'll link these products and some other favorites from nordstrom linked down below but like i said i've been going for an incredibly natural makeup look recently still like looking like flawless and glam but just not like heavy so this brand is bright so this is the westman atelier stick and i got the shade atelier 3 just looks like that and all i do is it's really creamy by the way like incredibly creamy 
all I do is put a few lines on my face and then I literally use my fingers and rub it in and you can see like it's making it makes your skin look flawless I like using my fingers to rub it in I feel like the heat of it blends it out really nicely another thing I actually don't do anymore on the daily is wear foundation and concealer I just wear foundation so I actually discovered this when I was at my boyfriend's house and I forgot my concealer at home and I was just like okay I guess it's a no concealer kind of day <laughs> and throughout the day my makeup just lasted so much better like it, I guess because it was less heavy on my face so I'll go in and put one layer kind of all over and then I'll go in with a second layer in the areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage so I don't use concealer but I do go in and use a contour stick this is the face trace contour stick in the color truffle and I use this to add some color and life to my face and obviously give you like a snatched look I'm just going in with a brush to blend it out. Another brand that they sell at Nordstrom that I'm obsessed with is Kiehl's. Then I set my under eyes with a little beauty blender and some setting powder another thing i started doing on the daily especially when i'm doing this glam this not opposite of glam look is not really doing much to my eyebrows except for the outer portion of my eye brow just because i'm like balding on this outer portion but i don't touch the front and the reason is that when I don't have like full eye glam eye makeup on, filling in this portion of my brow makes it look so intense. So I really don't do that. I just leave this portion natural and I fill in the end. Gives a little bit of a softer look. Another thing I really like doing to minimize the amount of layers of product on my face is using a darker setting powder to kind of act as my bronzer and then also set the cream contour in place when you want to look really full glam the layers of like powders and um creams and foundations and concealers and everything makes you look really flawless but on the daily i kind of want to minimize all the layers um that i have going on then i'm just going to curl my lashes quickly add a coat of brown mascara you guys know I pretty much only use a brown mascara and I know this is shocking but I stopped using eyeliner pretty much on the daily you know actually the reason why is because I just always looked the same like my day makeup was very similar to my night makeup with the intense eyeliner and you know I just my makeup was so intense all the time there was no difference between what I look like during the day and what I look like at night which is fine but I feel like I needed a softer look for during the day um, where I just still felt pretty obviously and put together but it was just like a little bit less intense i was in nordstrom and i found this brand surat beauty and i found this cream eyeshadow and it's the most beautiful cream shadow and recently i've just been putting it all over my lid let's do some blush blush placement is so important too sometimes if i put my blush in the wrong place so like ruins my whole makeup okay now for the magic this lip balm this is the westman atelier squeaky clean lip balm in the color nana i'm going to just line my lips in the springtime i always gravitate more towards pink lip liners and pink lip glosses so it is this beautiful nudie pink color you don't even need a lipstick Another one that I love that I've been using for years is the Clarins Lip Oil. This is going to make your lips shine so bright. So yeah, that's it. You guys literally saw the whole makeup routine from start to finish. It took no time at all and 
I'm obsessed with it. So thank you once again, Nordstrom, for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out um, for all of your beauty, skincare, hair care needs. They literally have everything in store and online. I will leave them linked down below and everything I use linked down below is per usual. I completely forgot to let you know that my bedroom makeover is completely underway. I am so excited, literally so excited. So I'm going to show you guys what the current situation. I'm on focus. Hello. It's kind of rude of you. It hasn't changed since I moved in. So my bed, I always get questions about it. It is, it is a beautiful boucle bed. It is from Sundays. Bedding is from Brooklinen. This thing at the end of my bed is from Target. For some reason, okay, this can make me extremely weird, but I like, you guys know, I used to always sleep with a weighted blanket. Um, I don't have, I didn't get one for my king size bed. I really should though, because that was like, I had the best sleeps of my life. Anyways, having this on my feet, and I even sometimes like open it up on myself, feels like a weighted blanket. Um, so that's from Target. These pillows are from... Zara Home? Zara Home. These are either from H&M or Zara Home, but I think they're from Zara Home. And then this is definitely from Zara Home. My night tables, nightstands are from Restoration Hardware. I got them when I was living in the condo. They are the small size. They also come in a bigger size, which would look better in my current bedroom but I'm not about to go and buy a whole new bedside table when these are perfectly good. <laughs> not in this economy. Anyways, um, alabaster lights are from HomeSense. Lampshades, they, these came with like gigantic, obnoxious lampshades. Lampshades are from Restoration Hardware. On this side, chairs are from Zara Home. This little table is from winners um, this tree's from a local montreal store it's from verano i believe and then i did a whole video on these curtains um which i'm actually changing not that crazy of a game plan we're not you know breaking down walls or doing anything crazy so far i've ordered new curtains i actually ordered swatches i have the swatch book from that i ordered from them and it's actually been a blessing that i ordered this because i've used it nikki's used it i actually have these curtains in my living room and my office and they're great so in my living room i have this color which is no i don't i lied i have the color ivory white in my office i have the color beige white um and so for in here i wanted something a little bit darker so i ordered the color gray beige I swear these curtains were the best find ever. They were my find. Um, Arvin Olano is the one who talked about them. I will forever be thankful for him because they're the best find. So this is the color I picked. These are my blinds now, and this is the color I picked. So it's a very similar. It's going to be like sheer like that, not opaque like the side. I also ordered new lamps. I have been eyeing these stone lamps for such a long time now and they were on sale so i finally bit the bullet and got them i actually asked you guys if you thought i should get them and you all said yes so i'm blaming this one on you there are these lamps right here so i feel like it's going to add nice contrast and then you guys know i am also going to be doing paneling in my bedroom so i think i've decided on three large panels on this wall I know it's a long, big wall, but the reason that I want to do three big panels, like one above my bed and then two on each side, is because then I will be able to switch my bedside table and switch the decor. If I put like one above my bed and then like two on each side or two above my bed, I feel like it would just be too busy. But one of the projects that I've been really undertaking recently is selling a bunch of my clothes just because nobody needs as much clothes as I have. Like really, it's quite embarrassing how much clothes I have. So I have all these bags of clothes that I need to sell. I was wondering and I asked you guys on Instagram and a lot of you guys said yes. I want to know if you're from Montreal, would you come to a pop-up to shop? my closet because here's my dilemma there's so much stuff here that is such good stuff that 
embarrassingly still has tags on it so i don't want to just give it away i just i give away clothes and bags of clothes all the time but some stuff i know that you guys would want i also was really bad with my returns but i could get sick to my stomach thinking about it and how much stuff i have and honestly like i don't even want i don't want this much stuff like i don't want this much clothes and another thing is like i was posting some things on depop but that takes forever and shipping is so expensive unless you're buying like a few things like does it really make sense so let me know in the comments if a pop-up is something that you would be interested in let's go through my blazers and see which ones i should give away or sell and which ones i should keep because i have so many and nobody needs this many blazers this blazer is a cropped blazer i love it however i think i'm going to sell it the issue with this blazer and cropped blazers in general with me is that I, I don't find them extremely flattering i don't love when things make my upper body the focus of attention i don't want it to be bulky up here and i feel like cropped blazers do that i say actually my body's pretty proportionate like if you look at your under under your boobs and your belly button if you put your two hands and it like comes to your belly button you have like a pretty standard size torso if you put your two hands and it like really covers your belly button you have a short torso and if you put your two hands and it doesn't cover your belly button it's like really far you have a long torso <laughs> knowing whether you have a long or a short torso is very important when styling your body because if let's say you have a very short torso high-waisted jeans that i love on my body are going to come to your nipples like it's not going to make sense likewise if I love a mid-waist pair of jeans, they're probably going to be the perfect high-rise jeans on you. Someone who has a really long torso should opt for a higher-rise pair of jeans because it'll come to, like, the perfect place. That's why sometimes when you see people wear things online, um and you buy the exact same thing, it won't look the same on you. Sometimes it'll look awful on you and when i'm shopping and this is what you guys all should be doing especially when you're watching my videos i don't want you to just buy everything i show i want you to look and see if it would work for you and your body and if it won't work for you and your body i want you to find something if you like the style find something that's similar that will work for you so if i show a pair of mid-rise jeans and you have a really long torso and you don't want them to look low rise on you, I would steer clear from them. I get a lot of DMs from people saying that everything you buy, you look good in. And first of all, thank you. But honestly, I automatically know before I buy or I order things whether I'm going to like that style on my body. I'm going to do a whole video. You know what? I'm going to do a whole video on how to become a pro online shopper or shopper in general because these are all things that I no one told me I just like over time realized that I don't like skin tight dresses I much prefer a line dresses or an a line skirts over skin tight skirts and dresses because they make your legs look thinner it makes your legs look smaller like you can literally Photoshop your body with the clothes that you wear it's all mental illusions it looks like your legs are so tiny in the skirt that there's just so much room between your legs and the skirt i know it sounds crazy but that's the illusion that it gives just like when you have broader shoulders you're not going to want to wear a racer muscle tank like that's just going to draw the attention to your shoulders there's nothing wrong with broad shoulders by the way just like there's nothing wrong with muscular legs or thicker legs but if you're trying to bring balance to your body and you don't let let's say you have broader shoulders and you want them to look thinner because you have like a thinner rest of your body or you just don't want to look like you have broad shoulders don't wear a racer tank top because that is literally just putting your shoulder on display instead wear like a, a v-neck or a scoop neck um tank top that's going to put your chest as the center focus instead of your shoulders like it makes such a difference my goal in life okay is to make all of you feel confident in the clothes that you wear and i acknowledge that in the past i've not been the most helpful 
in doing that because i would just come on here and be like this is what i bought like you should buy it too but that doesn't work for everyone just because something looks good on me doesn't mean it'll look good on you just because something looks amazing on you doesn't mean it's going to look good on me and it can be so discouraging when you see something that looks good on someone online or the model and you put it on and it just doesn't look good my goal moving forward is to make all of you guys know your body know your proportions so that you can dress to feel amazing i've learned that over the years just from trial and error but it's a real like science it's like it's all about playing with the proportions of your clothes to make your body the most flattering so yeah that's something i've been working on because i really want you guys to feel your best and wear clothes that you love and know why sometimes some things look terrible on you when they look good on me and look amazing on you when they look terrible on me that was a long spiel anyways back to my blazers i'm going to keep even though they have the terrible gaudy buttons there's a time and a place for this linen blazer i would sell it but I, it's just so worn that I feel like I would feel guilty selling it. Maybe I'll give it away, but I still love it. This Free People Blazer, I needed to take a second mortgage out of my house for this one, but I do love it. It has matching pants and a matching little crop top. It's such a cute little set. So this tweed blazer, little cropped sweater jacket, so cute, so perfect for spring. This I'm going to sell again. Look, it has a tag on it. Oh camera died and i got so distracted i filmed a whole tiktok on knowing your body proportions and then uploaded my zara video but i'm back we're going through the rest of these blazers we're already selling three of them this one again i'm going to sell it because i have i just have ones that are so similar that i wear all the time like this is a blazer from dish that has like I always call this like grandpa pattern. I need to, I should know the names of these patterns. It's a double breasted blazer. I used to not look at the details of clothes. I would just see it and like it on the model. But now I really focus in on like the little details. So this, if I had looked closely, this is a double breasted blazer. I wear blazers very casually. A double breasted blazer is not a casual... <laughs> blazer really especially not when it has structure like this another thing i want to show you guys is that on the back here this this comes tied and you can either leave it tied but i always choose to um take the little like stitch off because it gives a very a lot more movement to the blazer it's a lot less stiff and adds to kind of like the casual vibe i like this one aritzia babaton it's a really cute look i even have like a matching tank top somewhere but the thing i hate about this are these details on the sleeves i wonder if they can like if they, are they just stitched can i like unstitch them this zara brown blazer is really pretty this is a brown leather blazer from um abercrombie i'm really bad with object permanence where you forget that things continue to exist unless you see them and so i forget that i have all these things because i don't like see them all the time so i'm gonna make it an intense point to look at them more often this is a vogue blazer from babaton this is my favorite style of blazer from aritzia this is was probably one of my first brown blazers this is from zara i'm gonna sell it just because it's the exact same color as my vogue blazer this one is a frankie shop blazer this is the b blazer and my absolute favorite 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 blazers okay so this frankie shop blazer i think this is a boyfriend blazer and the shoulder pads in here are just so intense i don't know why it reminds me of frankenstein so i don't reach for this that often except when i wear it as a dress because it's that oversized linen blazer i've worn so many times this is really great because it's so casual so flowy so it goes with everything a little tweed blazer this is actually a dress, so I'm going to put it in a dress, the dress section. Zara black leather blazer. I love this so much. The only thing is I wish I got it in a size medium. You know what's actually crazy? This blazer is one of my most worn blazers, and I got it in this video where my friend Michelle picked my outfits for me from Zara. Little 
did he know would be my most worn blazer. This one is a little bit more fitted. It's a little bit less loose than the Zara. Sell this. So yeah, let me know what you think about doing the closet sale and if you would come in Montreal or if I should just stick to posting them online. Anyways, it's 8.48 now. Look how cute my wallpaper is. Hello. His face brings me so much joy. I have to go and eat something because I haven't eaten since breakfast, since that English muffin salmon thing. And then I'm gonna try to do this thing where I don't go on my phone or work past 9 p.m. and it's 8.49.